Hey, how you doing? This is your boy, Mr. Heavily Motivated right here. This is day two on the 27 day challenge. The word of the day is woman. We all came from a woman, got our name from a woman and got our game from a woman. I wonder why we're shaming our women out here in these streets. The definition of a woman is a, a female human being capable of producing offspring. So a woman can have a child. That's one of the main differences between man and woman is the, uh, is the anatomy. I'm a man, I don't have an anatomy of a woman. And a woman does not have the anatomy of a man. So I wanna go and talk about the value of a woman in our society. For too long, our women have been degraded, disrespected, devalued, and not loved. And I always ask guys, do you think you're a king? If you really call yourself a king, that means that your woman has to be a queen. You have to put her on her throne. You have to treat her as so. So I want you to learn today a new way to allow that special woman in your life to feel like she's royalty and express love and sympathy and empathy towards her and sort of try to see into her intimacy. Every time you think you have to get intimate with a woman, it doesn't mean a physical intimacy. Intimacy can mean intimacy. Are you seeing into me? Are you seeing into her? Are you pouring into her? Are you speaking her love language? Are you listening? Are you communicating? Are you respecting? Are you valuing your woman? If you look back through all the times and eras in our society, in the United States, it's always been like women on the forefront of activities. Even today, if you go into church, when there's a call made for a church position or they need a volunteer, it's usually women stepping up. If you go to a lot of organizations, there's more women in there doing things. You go to a lot of schools, there are more women teaching than there are men teaching. And this has become a problem because the men, us men, me and you and your cousin, your uncle, your nephew, we have, got, we have become relaxed. We've gotten lazy and we're letting our women sit out there and do too much. During the Civil Rights Movement, the women was on the front line. The women got, you know, sprayed with the water hose. The women were bit by dogs. You know, when we was integrating schools, the pictures show the women was on the front line. We could take it back to the plantation where the women was on the front line yet again. And the women were used and manipulated and some destroyed and raped separated and heartbroken and put through all this trauma just to protect the man, to protect the family. So what I'm asking you today is reach out to a woman that's special to you and let her know she's special to you. It could be your daughter. Hey, baby girl, love you. You're special to me. It could be your mom. Hey, mom, how you feeling? I love you. You're special to me. It could be your fiance. Hey, boo, how you doing? I love you. You're special to me. Whoever it is, your sister. Hey, sis, what's happening? I ain't talked to you in a minute, but I love you. You're special to me. Reach out to them let them know that they are special to you and you value them. And we want to let them know that they are powerful. Their opinions matter. And we trust them. So it's time for us as men to elevate our status as men. But we're going to do that by elevating our women. Let's stop dropping our women off. Let's stop letting them do it all alone. I have a whole new respect for single parent mothers. It is, they do so much. They're so dope. They're awesome at multitasking, working, making the kids happy, trying to make themselves happy, pleasing the boss, dealing with all kinds of pressure and coming home and just being the bomb. So it's a big respect for y'all single parent women out there, single parent mothers. And for you men out there, let's get it together. Let's not be a burden. We have women that's dealing with residual effects of no good men. So they deal with one no good man when they was 18, another no good man when they was 19, another no good relationship when they was 23. And by the time a woman reaches 35 years old, she may have all this residual baggage from the no good men that came into her life. And we have to stop, we have to break that cycle. We have to build our women up, uplift them, let them be educated, let them seek a career, let them be creative, let them be who they are and allow her to know that she is beautiful. Tell her she's beautiful. You're beautiful to me. You're uniquely made. Wow, you're gorgeous, babe. Dang, that dress look good on you. 
Let's uplift our women. This is day two in a 27 day challenge. Started on it last month, but I fell off. So I'm starting on it again. So I'm gonna be coming at you every month with these one word a day challenges until I get it right. Cause I'm not perfect. I'm not here preaching perfection. I'm not here preaching none of that. I'm saying I'm trying and I'm right here. I'm out here. I'm doing it. Please join me. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for listening to this through. I ask that you be blessed and don't forget to let her know that you love her. Peace.